Students are reminded to be nice to each other. If you aren't, who else will? Hello, yes, I'm Maggie Watmore, doing my best on campus radio. We've got a big show for you today, but I'm trying not to think about it. <laughs> no, only joking, of course. This is really fun. Let's have some music, shall we? Students are reminded to apologise to the janitorial staff. I'm sure you've done something.
And now over to Hugh and something about a hose. Ah, uh, yes, that's right. Students were protesting a sudden spike in milkshake prices. I'm told that proceedings were fairly peaceful until a rogue beach ball struck an attendant on the arm. Things got a little tasty and a garden hose was even used on one student who described himself as fine, just a bit wet. I'll be here bringing you the updates as the story develops. Back to you. Students are asked not to ask questions. And now, Wanda, with an update on the latest campus fashion trends. Anyone who's someone is wearing their shoelaces untied. This trend is here to stay. Oh, there really is something about seeing all those laces dancing in the wind. Yes, we may have seen a fairly drastic uptake in people falling down, but this is the price you pay for fashion.
Like a milkshake. Ah. But drinking too much milk can and will make you uncontrollably ill. <laughs> Be safe and try to have very slightly less than that. This message is brought to you by the Milkmaid Corporation. We are approaching the end of the academic year. Try not to worry. Today's show and didn't that fly by? I wasn't timing it or anything, but if I was, I think I'd see that we finished 35 seconds early. I've been Maggie Watmore. I'll be back tomorrow for my next allotted segment. Bye for now. Students are reminded to be constantly upbeat.
on your assignments if you think you have time. That's easy listening. The sound of Two Point County on Two Point Radio. Ricky Holford waxing the waves lyrically and literally on Two Point Radio. Why don't you listen to this next track and I'll take that pebble out of my shoe. Students should check in before trying to learn. Taking students for spy school.
are reminded that you may be fired at any time. Got breaking news for you on Two Point Radio. A zoo worker at the Crockle Bay Zoo has fallen into the gibbon enclosure. It's being reported that they're not under any immediate danger, and zoo officials are currently negotiating with the gibbons for the employee's release. Sometimes I get asked what I would have done had I not gone into the disc jockeying trade. Well, 
As a young boy, I dreamed of being a spy. Yes, I pined for a life of international intrigue and late-night dinners at the county's expense. Sadly, to be a spy, you need to be able to whisper, and I just can't do it. When it comes to disclosing secrets, you don't want my persistent volume and crystal clear intonation. Students are reminded to try and keep up. figure it out themselves. I'm Ricky Hawthorne. I don't remember being a student, but I'm sure it happened. People ask me all the time, Ricky, what would you eat if you were a student? And I say, anything from the crumbly student range. It's cheap, it's inexpensive, and above all else, it's affordable. Mmm, just like Mama used to make. To whom it may concern. I'm so disappointed in you. Thank you.
is in your hands. Park him. And we've got an update for you on the story of a zoo worker that fell into the gibbon enclosure. We're now hearing that the employee is rising through the gibbon social structure. Fascinating stuff. There's no word on what gibbons are, but I believe they're a kind of amphibious cat. Little smooth creatures with whiskers and a big bushy tail. Fantastic. Janitor needed in Gadget Lab.
are joined by Professor Hamish Curlybax of the Pebbly Frog Sanctuary, who tells me gibbons are nothing like an amphibious cat. What's going on, Hamish? That's right, Ricky. Gibbons are actually, well, they're land mammals and apes, much like ourselves, but with very long arms. Apes, you say? Well, I never. Thanks for joining us, Professor. There's nothing I like more than being corrected on air. Janitor needed to unblock toilets. Lovely. It's time for Chef Ricky's morsel of the day. You can buy breadcrumbs from any self-respecting supermarket or interweb parlor replacement service, but there's something to be said for doing it the old-fashioned way, by throwing the loaf against a brick wall until it disintegrates into a fresh and flaky nothingness. It'll take a good couple of hours, but boy, is it worth it.
questions, you can find the bathroom yourself. I believe in you. Breaking news and a surprise twist from the given enclosure. The zoo worker, first thought lost to the diminutive apes, has become their leader. They claim to have learned to love the gibbons, their way of life, and their disproportionately lengthy arms. So, instead of going to work in the zoo every day, they'll just be living there, I suppose. That's one way to skip the morning traffic. I've been Ricky Hawthorne. Good night. No, I forgot.
friends are reminded that you're letting everyone down. Sir Nigel Bickleworth on Two Point Radio. Welcome to Two Point Radio, where it's a great day. Why? Because I, Sir Nigel Bickleworth, am talking into a microphone. Can you feel it? Can you hear me? Is this thing on? Really, Dennis, if this is off again, I'm going to come in there and dump you like a biscuit. We'll check that I'm on the air and be back with more sumptuous sound wave salaciousness after this.
concepts that the youth of today believe they can churn out a radio show from the comfort of their toilet seats. The call! In my day, one had to work for years, making sandwiches and polishing the communication tower before they even let you touch a microphone. There's more to radio than ability, charm, and technological literacy. Eager little autodidacts. The lot of them. Attention. Your finger is not a toothbrush. Research project complete. Aren't you clever? are reminded that some of you are doing better than others. My darling, albeit slack-jawed, nephew Kevin ushered me through cyberspace and into the world of video games. Yes, I played the latest entry in the popular Meat Wizard franchise for Sir Nigel Reviews. I was lost. I was cold. I was... The controller was sticky and the subject matter obscene. While I'm unsurprised that it appeals to the desensitized youth of today, I'll tell you what I told that chap at the deli. No one needs that much ham. One magical gem out of a possible five. Janet 
are required for groundskeeping. Thank you. Research project complete. Aren't you clever? are responsible for, well, for a lot actually. Or like a milkshake. <sighs> but drinking too much milk can and will make you uncontrollably ill. <sighs> Be safe and try to have very slightly less than that. This message is brought to you by the Milkmaid Corporation. Frequently asked questions. No, I will not.